What's up guys, Casual Avenger back again, and if you saw my last video, you knew I would be talking about everything I wanted to see included for Winter Soldier's hero release when he's eventually added to the hero roster for Marvel's Avengers, and while I am genuinely excited to see every new hero they have lined up to come to the game, this is the character I was the most invested in behind Black Panther, and I've got a lot to cover, so let's jump into it. Now just like in my video for She-Hulk, this will be purely speculation on my part as far as things I feel like make the most sense to include for his character as far as story and gameplay, and I don't want anyone coming away from the video thinking these things are confirmed for the game. As of right now, all we know for sure is that he is developed in the game and slated as a playable character. So nothing official has been released regarding when we'll see him, but I expect that to change when we see the new roadmap in early 2022. But I just wanted to make sure we're all on the same page. But the biggest thing people are speculating about for the Winter Soldier is what we'll see from his story expansion. Lots of players are hoping to see Hydra introduced to the game because they play such a big role in the Winter Soldier's history and because a lot of players are just ready to move on from AIM at this point. It's going on two years that the world hasn't progressed at all in Marvel's Avengers, so to see a new enemy faction that isn't tied to or dependent on AIM would be a much needed breath of fresh air for the game. And I'm mainly interested in seeing how Captain America will respond to Bucky's reappearance because based on the game's tie-in comic he's under the impression that Bucky died during the war so to see him not only alive but also possibly working for Hydra sets the stage for a great campaign narrative which is one of the game's greatest strengths if we're being honest and I'm hoping that Bucky does start out as a threat to the Avengers and that Steve's attempts to save his friend lead to conflict within the team because this version of Steve and Tony fell a lot closer to friends than their movie counterparts did. In the MCU I felt that at the end of the day they respected each other and trusted each other as teammates but they both gravitated towards other members of the team more than towards each other. But here Tony not only respects Cap but you can see he means the world to everyone on on the team, so to see him at odds with them would be the most interesting story aspect so far. Switching over to his gameplay, I think he has a lot of potential for his combat mechanics depending on how they plan to utilize him. There's been a lot of speculation that he'll be pretty similar to Black Widow in terms of gameplay setup, and I think that actually would make sense for him because they both are strong hand-to-hand -hand combatants and both of them use a variety of weapons and gadgets to get the job done. Plus in the comics he literally trained her in the Red Room program, so it only would make sense for them to have similarities in their fighting styles. So going off that logic, I think he should definitely have solid combo capabilities, and I'm hoping to see them use the combo he put on Black Panther in Civil War because that was just clean. So I hope to see that appear either in a takedown or as part of his actual combo attacks, and I think it will work best as his heavy attack combo. He's also very skilled with a knife in combat, so it would be cool to see that mixed into his gameplay as well, and I think he should be a mix between Cap and Widow in the sense that he is fast and powerful, similar to Cap, but he's also proficient with various weapons and takedowns like Widow. He could also have a running kick similar to Cap, and just like they introduced air takedowns with Spider-Man, I think at the very least it would be cool to see team takedowns against enemies like Adaptoids and Mechs introduced with Bucky, just so we can get takedowns like this in the game. For his weapons, I'm pretty confident that if he only has one weapon in the game, it's more than likely going to be the M4A1 assault rifle we saw him using in the Winter Soldier movie, and I would love that because not only is this one of my favorite guns to use in Call of Duty Warzone, but it just has so much versatility. It can fire up to 950 rounds per minute, but can switch to single shot, and I think those are the two modes that will be available with this gun, with the single shot being used to snipe single targets with the holographic sight, and rapid fire for crowd control but I'm hoping that it's not similar to Black Widow's rapid fire mode because I'm really not a fan of that but on top of that the M4 he uses also comes with a grenade launcher attached which is what I see them adding as the third mode for his weapon because it just wouldn't make sense to exclude it. 
and that could be his high damage weapon attack. But if they choose to have him switch between an assault rifle and a handgun, then he could also use what looks to be like a RK-7 Garrison, which is a burst fire pistol that we saw him use in the Winter Soldier and in the flashback scene in Falcon and the Winter Soldier, or something similar to an X-16 which we also see him use. And in Infinity War, he had what looked to be a LMG, which would be amazing to see in the game, and to be able to switch between an M4, a Garrison, and an LMG on top of being a great hand-to-hand -hand fighter would definitely have him set to be OP in the game, but I personally think they'll settle for using the M4's versatility because that just seems more practical and in line with what we've seen for other heroes. For his heroics, I think they have a lot of options to go with. For his support, I think giving him an EMP attack could work since 90% of the enemies in the game are robots, so anything that destabilizes them would be a plus. And for his assault, I think either a heavy strike with his metal arm that does high damage to a single enemy, or a ground strike that does AOE damage could work. Or they can go with having them throw a grenade to get the job done. For his ultimate, I think they could have him use his LMG if they chose to add it in but not as his primary weapon, or have him do a ground slam with his metal arm to clear enemies and give himself a damage buff. I never have any ideas about intrinsic abilities for heroes because they're also different and don't really follow a set pattern, so I fully trust the team on that front, but I really just want them to do him justice when he comes to the game because he's one of the characters I'm most looking forward to playing as, so I'm confident they'll hold him down on the gameplay, I'm just hoping they really take Take advantage of his potential because he can be a lot more than just a variation of Black Widow and Cap. But that's everything I got for today's video. You guys let me know down below what you're hoping to see from the Winter Soldier when he comes to the game and what are you hoping to see from his operation story. Make sure to drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it and if you're new be sure to subscribe because I make new Marvel's Avengers content every week. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.